Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Eric Stidman. Well, good Wednesday morning to you. We're halfway through the week and we're off to a chilly start this morning, but Storm Team 10 travel tracker showing us not a lot going on out there this morning. We're hearing that the roads are quiet. Here's 3rd Street, Highway 40. Traffic moving just fine this morning. Temperature wise, we're in the upper 20s and lower 30s across the Wabash Valley. 30 in Terre Haute, 28 in Paris. 32 in Olney. Now for the rest of our afternoon going to warm up to about 34 degrees this morning, mainly staying in the lower 30s this morning. But as we get toward the afternoon and into the evening, 34 coming around 4 p.m. and then temperatures tapering off from there across the Wabash Valley. Future cast picking up at 7 o'clock this morning. No real rain chances or anything out there today, mainly just stuck in the clouds again today, kind of a carbon copy repeat of yesterday, putting future cast in motion. And you can see here as we go through the afternoon, the clouds build in and kind of hang around into our evening hours. And then temperature wise today, only heating up to about 34 degrees, 34 in Terre Haute, the forecast high 33 in Rockville. A little warmer to the south, a whole line of 35s there, 35 in Vincennes. Cooling off a little bit tonight. Only just a little warmer than we had last night. 27 in Terre Haute, the overnight low. 27 in Rockville, 28 in Paris, 29 in Flora, 28 in Vincent. So future cast picks up for the next round of our, our work week and into the weekend. And here's 7 o'clock this evening. We put it in motion. By 1 o'clock, we build in some cloud cover through the overnight hours. We'll keep that cloud cover around. And then as we get into the morning, here's noon. Mostly cloudy sky out there tomorrow, so if you're planning your day, still no chances of precipitation just yet. The better chances look to be this weekend, but look at this. Futurecast actually tries to bring in some light flurries 7 o'clock Thursday night Eastern. Now, I'm thinking we've got a lot of dry air out there, and in order to have those flurries, you've got to have some moisture. So if this does materialize, I'm thinking we'll see a flurry or two. No real major chances for snow. I'm thinking we're staying dry until we get through the weekend. So then we move into Friday and temperatures warm up a little bit. Here's Friday at 11 o'clock. You can see a little bit of clearing. The closer we edge to the weekend, the more sunshine that we're going to see. And I'll talk about that in my seven day forecast. So 34 today, mostly cloudy and above freezing. And then tomorrow or tonight, cooling back down to 27, cloudy and cold southwest breeze. And then tomorrow we begin this warming trend. And you'll notice as we get closer to the weekend, it'll be a good weekend, at least on Saturday, to get outside and kind of soak in the temperatures because it will actually feel like spring. Now we've been talking about spring. We had a day that was 44 earlier this week in the last week, but we really might have some spring coming in here. 40 tomorrow, a warmer day, mostly cloudy and then the seven day forecast. OK, so 40 Thursday, 41 Friday. All right, that's all right. Then we get to Saturday, 52. Wow. And then Sunday. 52, but chances for rain move in. Best chances look to be in the evening hours moving into our Monday. But talk about a weekend where you could really get out and do some work or maybe go out to the park. Saturday looks to be a great day for that. And then rain chances through Tuesday. That's a look at your seven day forecast.